What's up guys? John from Bennett's Customs. Today we are doing a bit of open heart surgery. We are getting the motor into the frame, bolted in. I've just done a little bit of light measuring to try and figure out exactly where this is in relation to obviously where I'm going to sit with the radiator, the fan, the grill. We obviously need clearance for everything. I have extremely large legs and I have no idea by large, I mean extremely long. They're very skinny. I need to put them somewhere. So it's a bit tricky trying to figure this out with the mounts. It's not just super simple like usually these motor mounts are for flatheads. Unfortunately, I did shoot myself in the foot with the front motor mounts. The inside diameter of these frame rails is exactly the same as the center point for the bolts on the motor mount. But that's okay, I will overcome that hurdle. On the rear, we did just score a gorgeous rebuilt 39 gearbox from our good friend Ben in Perth. Thank you very much, Ben. And we are trying to fit up the rear cross member or mounts for holding the transmission in. Another one that's kind of important is I need a lot of like leg room and where to put my feet and stuff. So I will be trying to make these motor mounts on the back that won't protrude too much into the side of the frame rails because I need to be able to obviously get them in and out. So uh, we are working kind of off the bottom of the frame and gonna try and you know make something that's obviously quite structural that will kind of hold what we need it to. We are gonna try and get this thing locked up today and have it bolted in and we can sit in it and make fun motor noises. Let's get into it. All right, so we got the frame back on the table. Um, I just removed the front and rear end. It's sitting in here now. Um, I've kind of got a bit of a plan uh, that should work for the motor mounts. Basically, the problem is, is that the mount itself is directly in line with the inside of the frame rail. So virtually this sits right on that center line of the inside of the, of the rail. So I need to notch it out using a little bit of tubing and I will reinforce it. So we obviously are keeping the integrity and the strength of the frame, but this will allow us to sit the motor mount right down flush with the top of the frame rail and um, work for both sides and then we'll work on to the back. So let's get this cut out now. saw I um, used the base of one of the motor mounts um, to trace around with the plasma just to get the contour correct and I've notched out that piece and then obviously what I've used is a I believe it's like a 90 mil um, outside diameter pipe it looks like it's about four mil thick and that is what I'm using as an insert as you can see something similar to this which then will weld in a plate as you can see on this side here and then that will house the mount on top of it. That was obviously a lot of trial and error to make it kind of work how I wanted it to with also trying to keep the integrity of the, of the frame as I had said before. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll just uh, mark this out, get everything cut, tack it in, 
weld it, and then I'll use the cardboard template and I'll show you how I made the top piece for the actual mount itself. So now that I've got this half welded in, I'm just letting it cool down a little bit. I've actually just made up a cardboard template prior to using the other one. Basically, that is how it sits in there. And then I'll hole saw an inch and a quarter hole that will allocate the bottom of the motor mount itself that actually sits down into it. And then another rubber piece actually slides up inside to keep it central. So basically, I'll just put this down onto some 4 mil steel, trace it out, cut the hole out, and then I'll weld that in as well.
Front motor mounts are done. The frame is bolted back down onto the front and rear axle and we're just about to slide the motor in, get it mocked up and then we can kind of measure up for our rear transmission mounts. That's close, hey. Right. <laughs> One seventeen. One twenty-five. Tight view. One twenty. One twenty. One twenty. So we got the front motor mounts tightened up, rear the transmission square to the frame, and I'm just actually using the standard front flathead mounts for the rears as well. Usually I was gonna use like an F1 cross member on the back of this, yeah, have it sit right down, locked into place with that little saddle mount that they come with. But unfortunately, there's limited leg room, as I've said multiple times, so what I'm going to try to do is build something that will come off the bottom, pick up the mount, and then I can kind of stick another little bent elbow in here, but keeping this still quite clear without, you know, putting like a heap of material in this. So it'll still be strong, but I need this area to basically the bottom of my floor is going to be like that. So I'm going to have to have you know, pedals and stuff in here somewhere. So basically I'm kind of working with not a lot of room. So let's try and come up with something. 40 mil. 110, 40 mil, 150, 40 mil. <laughs> Thank you.
goes like that. Um, need that jack to go down a little bit. This thing's dodgy as fuck. A bit like the fabricator. So that's uh, that's in there. Boom, just like that. Straight up, three bolts, another piece that comes down off here, welded onto that. Four bolts. So the bottom parts of the transmission mount are done and clamped in. And now I'm just making the kind of upright pieces that will actually attach that to and bolt into the side of the, um, into the frame rails. There's probably many ways of doing this and I don't even know if this is gonna work, but this is all part of this, you know? You, you guys are kind of watching us come up with ideas whether or not they're actually gonna work or not, you know? Trial and error. Basically what I'm trying to achieve is making a plate. I will weld it onto the bottom one. There'll be two big bolts that'll come through here and three on the bottom that will bolt these sections in so that we can remove them if we have to pull the transmission out quickly. The biggest thing about this is that I need to have this room here for my feet. My feet are gonna be basically right here. My heel's probably gonna be pivoting on this mount. So I can't have really big gussets coming up and down, which ideally would be great and it would be probably super strong. So we're gonna try and come up with this and um, see how it goes and we'll just watch it. If it starts to flex, I'll probably have to make some sort of cross brace that'll go from the bottom across. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll give it a red hot crack. Yeah, film that.
So we got the bottom bottom uh, transmission mount bolted into place, um, and I've just uh, clamped the upright onto the frame rail. And what I'm doing now is just using a pilot hole to make sure I get all the holes square prior, and then I'll bolt this piece in to the frame, making sure everything is tight, and then I'll clamp this down, tack this, pull it out, weld everything, stick it back in, bolt it, and test to see whether or not this is gonna work. There might be a weak point. I'm kind of pointing in this area where this straight line is. I probably should have made this round around the motor mount, which would have made it a little bit stronger, but we're basically just gonna try it and see, and if it doesn't work, we'll just add some material here and there when we need to. But let's give it a try. Look at that, it's in. It's ready. Let's go racing. <laughs> well, motor's in. Mounts are done for now. This rear trans mount, as we kind of explained throughout the process, we're just gonna see the flex part of it. 
I'm gonna play around with getting the cowl on, figure out where my feet are gonna sit. You know, fingers crossed I have some, some room for my 10 foot long legs. But yeah, motor's in, it's bolted in. Now we can continue building the rest of the body and the grill and the, the headers, which is gonna be loose. That's gonna be my most favorite thing about this whole car. But that's a wrap. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and hit that notifications button if you're into this because we're going to try and pump one of these a week up and this car is going to take shape and it's really fun and it's awesome to hear your guys' input as well. All those really, the comments you guys put out, yeah, just it's crazy to have that much support with so many really nice people out there that are giving us the, you know, the thumbs up. Let's build a race car.